Hi, my name is Nina Silverberg and I'm a fiber artist. I'm going to take you on a little studio tour today. I'm one of the artists part of the 2020 Contemporary Art Taos exhibits at the Harwood Museum of Art in Taos, New Mexico. Welcome. This is my yard outside of my studio. It's full in bloom, so inspiring. There's the door to my studio. Let's go inside and see what's happening. Here we go. Oh, there's some artwork that I created for a poster for a theater performance that I designed the costumes and the set for. Let's go inside. Here is my studio. I'm particularly fond of the light this time of the afternoon. And yes, I have a bicycle hanging up in the ceiling. I have a small home and a small studio, and so the bicycle live in my studio. Here we go. I've got some artwork that I've created a while back. This piece was hanging at the Parks Gallery. It was an exhibit talking about all the femicides in Mexico. And so this bleeding heart um, sculpture was part of that. There's some dresses that I created for a runway vigilante performance um, at the Harwood Museum of Art. Actually, that was a few years ago back too. And um, there's some work materials of various random kind. I did organize this for you because sometimes I can be a little bit of a messy worker. Here is a piece that I made. Um, it was in the stables gallery. It's all felted string and yarn and wool. And there's a sculpture, one of my reach sculptures that um, you recognize. The wall hanging next to it, my mom actually made way back in the 70s. It's a beautiful linen weaving. Uh, here's my work table that I did not clean up, but oh well. I'm going to show you some of the things that I have been working on. And there is a photograph that famous Zoe Zimmerman took of one of my costumes. We had fun that day in the studio in my Queen of Hearts dresses that I also created for one of our Runway Vigilante art group um, fashion shows. Here's the window with a trampoline outside for my kids. And another bicycle. All my sewing machines. And, oh, I like this shoe. This shoe holds all my pins. It's a pin cushion. I love it. And yes, I have shoes in my studio because I love shoes and this is where there's space for them. There's a dress that I created. It was inspired by Gustav Klimt's. Um, I was always fascinated by soft materials and fabric and fibers. And I've been working with uh, fiber art pretty much since I was a teenager, off and on. Uh, I've been working with wool, which I learned to work with wool about when I was uh, in my early 20s. I went to an art school in Sweden, and one of the blocks of study that we did was working with wool in various forms. And I really, really loved felting and the magic of what the fiber can do and it's a little bit obsessive so uh, it sucks you into this world of I can't stop doing this and in fact it's very repetitive the motions that you have to make to create a uh, fiber sculpture out of wool so I'm gonna a little bit show you also what that looks like today and I hope you enjoy this so here's some finish lamb's wool. This is the same kind of wool that I used for making my sculptures for the show at the Harwood, my reach beings. And fiber looks like this. It's just 
strands of fiber. And so all of these millions of fibers, I am going to organize like this. So I lay them out. Like that. And then I take another layer and I crisscross the fibers like this in the other direction. Every single fiber has a little scale at the end, just like our hair or fingernails. And when we agitate and add warm water to this situation, those little scales start gripping to each other, which creates felt, just like when you throw your favorite sweater in the washing machine and it shrinks and becomes a pot holder. So basically, that technique we are using to create felt. Um, I'm using this kind of old curtain material just to make it so that I can agitate it without moving the fibers too much. Because if you rub on the fibers directly, then they move around. So this polyester fabric allows me to manipulate the fibers uh, in more control. So now I've covered them in between two layers of polyester because the wool fiber will not attach to a polyester material, but any organic material, you can actually attach the fiber to the organic material, and that's called Nuno felting, and one can create beautiful stuff with that. Then I take some warm water, like this, and I just put a couple of driplets of it. That might have been a little too much. Oh well. Then I take some soap, and I sprinkle it on top. That is to make my hand glide a little more. And then I start pressing the water into the fiber like that. And then I just start rubbing it. And that will make the fibers attach. And you do that for hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of rubs and you create something that becomes felt. So your fiber wools become a solid material without weaving, without sewing, without adhesives, pure agitation and alchemy and woolen magic. And I do that and let's see, it has already started attaching a little bit but obviously I would need to do much more, but that creates a material. When you felt something three-dimensional, it's a different kind of technique. You use a pattern out of plastic that the fibers don't penetrate through, and it's, kind of, it's called a resist. And so you can see the shape here, and you make something that's three-dimensional. Here's a pattern of my reach beings that I was working on to create the moods and the shapes. So three-dimensional felting has a different kind of technique. I thought I'd share with you what I did this week. Uh, the organization that I work for in Taos, New Mexico is called Twirl, a play and discovery space. And we've embarked on a pretty cool mask making project considering that we're living a life of masks. So we've delved into some creative, awesome, fun ways of making masks. And we hope for everyone to join us with the mask gathering. Check out twirltaos.org. This space has served me well um, doing costume design and set designs and various fiber art projects, sewing. I've done a lot, a lot of sewing in here. Hot melt glue gunning, you name it. Weaving, I've done some weaving too. So um, I'm very thankful for my studio. I'm very thankful that you got to come and visit me as well. It, this space has served me well. I hope you had fun watching me do some fiber art and felting and checking things out in my studio. If you ever want to do any of the things that I just showed you, please contact me, ninasilverberg.com. And you're always welcome. I always love a good collaboration and I always love sharing the magic of felting with anyone who's interested. 
So have a great day and thank you for visiting with me.